Hello everyone, I'm not good at lying and welcome to me, Sal. This game is supposedly the sequel to Mad Father, and while I've played Mad Father myself, not on my channel, and I've seen many Let's Plays of Mad Father, I've never actually heard of a sequel until uh, just recently, so I'm very excited to jump in game. I've got my volume very loud, as I know these games have some amazing audio, and it seems to be following the trend so far. Let's get in game. Enter this girl's name with the keyboard. We're gonna stick with Aki. Is Aki alright? Yes. Help. Find me. You got it. On the way. I'm coming to save you. Hopefully. Uh, Misao? Is that you, Misao? Misao! Apparently I was dreaming. Oh, oops. My bad. I thought I heard me sell. I guess it was just a dream. It's been three months. Oh no! It's so late. I'm gonna be late for school. Better hurry then. Me sell never stood out too much in our class. She was just a simple girl, really. I wasn't too close to her, but I was always worrying about me sell being alone. I hoped I could be her friend, but that didn't happen. Three months ago, Misao went missing. She wasn't coming to school and she hadn't come home either. She's not the type to flee home. Our parents were saying that she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off. Uh, okay. She kinda moonwalked the door. Our class spread the rumor that Misao was long dead by now. I really hope they're wrong. I wanted to be her friend. Find me. We've already established I'm on my way. Oh, not the whole one? So, here. And then you have... The attractive teacher of Aki's class, popular with students for his generosity. All right. Mr. Sada's as cool as ever. That voice I heard in my dream, was that me, Sal? You've got guts to ignore my lecture. Yeek! This information will be essential for the test, so you'd better listen. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Giggle. <clears throat> Hold my comp composition. Yeah. Miss Sauter, Mr. Sada has a new suit. Like, whoa, super suave. Aki's best friend, a fad following girl who looks up to Mr. Sada. I'm guessing that means that I'm thinking. Ayaka, you've been talking him up all morning. Don't you ever get tired of blabbing? But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice and smart and the best. Okay. Oh yeah, gotta use some hand cream. Do, do, what do. Did you hear? I did. There's a rumor, Miss. Mr. Sada has a hand fetish. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly every day all the time, he'll like me more. I don't really care, Ayaka. Don't really care, she says. Ha! Huh. You've got no eye for men, Aki. Seriously, what do you see in a seducer like Toma? I, I never said I liked anybody. I just think he's kind of cool, that's all. Really? Yeehehehe. <laughs> I don't know what kind of laugh that is. Yes, really. There's been some spooky paranormal business going on at this school. I'm getting a little freaked. Paranormal, my ass. Aki's classmate, a boy, carefree in appearance, personality, everything. I'm for real. It's for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away in the bathroom. Aki's classmate, leader of the bullies. 
There was also the glass in the third floor hallway being broken from inside. Hockey's classmate. A calm, early maturing youth. Gotta be ghosts. Obviously. Eek, I'm scared. Aki's classmate, just Atome for short. Toma's girlfriend. Ghosts, huh? Dumbass, those ain't exist. They ain't. Wait, what if this is Misao's curse? Look, this is no time for jokes. But, I mean, it's totally possible. It's been three months since she vanished. Then this stuff just suddenly starts. If those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshi will know... Yoshino will be cursed sooner or later. Hmm? Whatever did I do? Yoshino, you did bully Misao a lot. Bullying? Why, I never. I was just making a little fun. And Toma always screwed with Misao. You're the one who will get cursed. Me? Ha, I'm fine. Misao looked up to me. I wonder. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend. Misao might have a grudge. Don't sweat it, Atome. I'll protect you. Oh, you're so nice, Toma. Damn, it's loud. Pa, do what you like, lovebirds. Misao, please don't curse us. The rest of us are fair. Ga the rest are fair game, though. Oops, did I say that out loud? Gah! Yeah, you really shouldn't have said that out loud. You're kind of a douche. Earthquakes happen when you say shit like that. Just saying. An earthquake? Yes, it was an earthquake. Wh what? It got dark real quick. What the hell's going on? Maybe, just maybe. It really is Misao's curse? Misao's real mad at us. Sh shut up! What the hell? I was just kidding about that curse crap. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll be doing that very soon. I've already talked to you about this. Just calm down. Misao. Misao. I can hear her speaking to me. Oh, now it's got to be her. Sh shut it. I don't hear her damn voice. Aki, y you're talking crazy talk. I'm not. Uh... <laughs> Find me. And shut up, I'm on my way. Me. Miss Sal. <laughs> wow. It's the best noise I could do for those letters. Just saying. Alright, any time now we can start back up in the game. Miss Sal. Ah, uh, finally you've come to. Exclamation point. Where am I? I was just in the classroom. It's reminding me a lot of Seven Mysteries. And who are you? I am Onigawara, the student council president, and this is the student council room. That is the guy from Mad Father, and do not tell me he's not. Look at those eyes, they're red. Same guy. Pointy ears? No doubt. Luckily for you, you've ended up somewhere safe. Ended up? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. Wow. This sent those inside flying all across the school. That's got to be quite dramatic. Another world? What's that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Well, it's a curse. Definitely Mad Father. 100%. It is the result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in the other world, and that is definitely the same guy. I'm already falling in love with this. A curse. It couldn't be. Misao. President Onigara. Kawara. Pant, pant. Finally made it. Thought I was a goner. So you finally return, Miss Library. That was a horrible name. She is the school's vice president, always in the library, so that's what we call her. So then, Miss Library, how does it look? It's messed up and gunked up and funked up. The foundation and everything, it's wrecked, and I haven't been able to find any exits. Plus, evil spirits are going and attacking people. I saw a student killed before my eyes. I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. 
She does not know where hamburger meat comes from. That's, that's just not okay. Oh, it was frightening. So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me any time you need to protect me. I just added that in there because she's just going off alone. Evil spirits. The curse must have summoned them. The school is now a den of spirits and there's nowhere to run. Um... There's only one solution. Undoing the girl's curse. There's surely no other way. How am I supposed to undo a curse? By saving the girl's soul, Miss Aki. You must know what it is you have to do. I do. Find me. Woman, I'm on my way. Misao is calling me, so she wants to be found. Mr. Onigawara. I'll go look for Misao. So you will. As library informs me, the school is full of evil spirits, and yet you wish to go? I will, because Misao is my friend. Understood. You are entrusted with the fate of the school. I believe you can do it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to the library on the second floor. She will try her best to help. If you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do so for you any time. Save. All right, guys, this looks like a pretty good time to uh, leave off. I hope you guys are liking the video. I hope you guys are liking the story so far. If you are liking the video, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the video, or me. I hope you guys are having a great night, a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.